Hey gang, Mike back here from B.A. Benny's Baseball Card Buffet. I'm uh, doing a little video action today for the last four envelopes on my old pile on the uh, desk here that I've been trying to clear off for quite some time now. Anybody that's been reading the blog knows that I'm trying to catch up still. Uh, things around here have been insane. Uh, very busy at home, very busy at work, so things are falling behind on the blog thing. But we all have real lives, unfortunately, and we got to live them and take care of business before we can enjoy this hobby. But uh, I got four envelopes today I want to show off, and then I got another whole batch of newer stuff that I'll continue on a more timely fashion. Uh, first up, I have a trade from the SCF site, Sports Card Fun. Um, gentleman over there, Robert, uh, he, he and I have traded several times before. He's a... Redskins fan, so every so often I come across some Redskins cards. I give them uh, an email and uh, we try and hook something up. I had uh, an auto, a uh, triple jersey, and a McNabb orange refractor he was interested in. And in return, I got these two beauties a Dontrell Willis auto from Upper Deck Special Endorsements. Um, it's a nice, very nice looking card, has a refractory feel to it. A look to it, and uh, to sit, it is a sticker, but it still looks real nice. The, the placement isn't terrible at all, and it looked good in my Dontrell collection. And a card I'm very happy to have gotten a Greg Nettles Team Tops Legends autograph, a reprint of his 1969 rookie card. He uh, came up with the twins. A lot of people don't realize that, everybody really recalls him, at least around here, from his Yankee heydays in the 70s. But uh, my father was a big fan of his, and when I was a, a lad in the 70s watching the Yankees with my dad, uh, he always carried on about how much he liked the uh, uh, Greg Nettles, uh, well, with most of them, Willie Randolph and all the rest, but uh, he always thought Nettles was a class act and a great player. Yeah, he's a lunch pail type, so I'm really happy to get that in the collection. I was a big fan of Greg Nettles myself. So, thanks, Robert. Uh, another great trade. Always glad to get rid of Redskins being a uh, giant fan third in this and around here, so... Uh, next up, I have a package I got from Tim over at the Great Sports Name Hall of Fame. Uh, he did his trade bait draft uh, a little while back now. Uh, we all pay, a bunch of us paid to get in, and he drafted all the cards off his trade bait list. It was great. So here's what I ended up with. Uh, I want to say I think it's 25 cards. I'm not sure, but uh, the only Met card I got out of the whole deal was this Brett Butler, 95 Pinnacle. This is the museum collection, so it has that refractory silvery thing going and uh some yankees Girardi, mariano duncan great donnie baseball uh jason giambi scouting quote these are very interesting i never had one of these before it kind of opens up like a little booklet and uh has a whole bunch of junk on jason beyond giambi and it is numbered to 400 you can see that oops but uh very interesting i, I don't recall what's that Fleer platinum this came out of but uh and El Duque, and if you can look closely, you can see, actually see through this card. It's a pinhole de deal, kind of like that Jeter I showed off the other day. Very cool looking card. That was the Yankee end of it. Now, this is uh, a great looking patch. Carlos Delgado from his Jays days. Uh, I have another one of these, a three color, so this is going to look great in the binder right next to it. This was numbered to 50. Great score. This was my number one pick, I believe, off the, uh, the draft list. So I'm really glad to get that. And uh, he had a bunch of Barry Bonds cards I didn't have. Uh, I don't know if people that in the blog world, I haven't seen too many guys collect Bonds, so uh, uh, I get them when I can. I do collect them. I'm not a huge fan of his, but I do collect his cards, and uh, he's got his place in history. So here's a few cool Bonds cards. Ended up with. Here's one with his father, Bobby. Uh, oh, Ricky Williams. Uh, I believe this is a rookie card. Uh Big Saints fan, as you all know. The rookie uh, thing. A couple cards for the team logo collection. Angels, both of them. And my last pick in the draft was this Hulk Hogan 1985 Tops Hulk Hogan Championship card. Just really was out of stuff I was really looking for. I thought this was a pretty cool novelty. I am a wrestling fan, so thought it was great. Now, these cards are, are all for trade from this point forward uh, in this. Uh, Martin Nance, Bill's Sign of the Times from Bowman Autograph. Anybody's interested? A Brandon Jones jersey. That's numbered to 150 from the Titans, of course. 
Uh, I am a big fan of this set. I just love the way it looks. The uh, Don Ross, they really did a nice job. Um, Donnell Harvey, Mavs, game night gear. Uh, it's just a shooting shirt. I guess it's like a warm-up. Very nice looking card. And uh, there's a Josh Booty. Uh, press proof silver. So there was made. These was I think fifteen hundred. Yeah, there's fifteen hundred. These made. It's not serial numbered, but it shows one of fifteen hundred. I don't know if you can really read that, but that's what it says. Uh, uh Sean Figgins uh, with Gary Matthews in the background. Uh, Tops co-signers. This one is numbered to two fifty. The bluish. Kind of hard to tell. My light in here stinks. I just put a new desk in and moved it different spot in the room and I can see now that my lighting sucks but I'll work on that and I'm not really sure why I picked these it's been a while so I don't recall but they're available uh what are these 1981 tops Eric Rasmussen from the Padres and Bob Lacey from the A's anybody needs those let me know thanks Tim that was a great little fun thing uh got to pick a bunch of cards off his list a lot of fun all right next up uh Dave, uh, D. Green, David Greenstein over at uh, uh, his Orioles blog over there. Uh, he and I worked on this trade back and forth quite some time, both of us being very busy with jobs. Uh, his job got crazy for a while, so we sent emails back and forth with like a week in between and whatnot, but we finally have had a great trade. Uh, I sent him a bunch of football stuff that he needed for his uh sets and his team collections he does ravens and cowboys and eagles uh and i ended up with some great cards myself uh nice piazza diamond kings from 03 this is numbered to 2500 very sweet always love getting a numbered piazzas uh here's a diamond heritage from prestige from piazza this one isn't numbered and a nice denny's hologram these cards are great from his dodger days all right um, uh, this is a Jeter passing the torch. This one was numbered to 1,000. Uh, again, around here, getting a Derek Jeter or a Mike Piazza serial numbered card is quite expensive if you're in the card shops. They just kill you here in New York. Obviously, they're two extremely popular players here. That's why I love trading for them from other parts of the country. And, uh, he had some Bond stuff as well. Uh, so he hooked me up. This one is numbered to 582. Uh, I think I only had one serial number cards from Bond, so this is great, a great score. Uh, 03 Donruss production line. Here's a Diamond King. This one was numbered to 400. 35 out of 400 on this one. Um, this is 02 Diamond Kings. Uh, this was the race to 75 or 73 from 02 op opening day. This was number 73. I guess they, I forget, I think they chronicled each home run with its own card. Then uh, we did some football. It's really what started us on this trade. He posted some football bait, and I jumped on it. Nice Ron Dane from the Giants. Uh, he was a crummy Giant player, but it's a nice card. Flair Focus, numbered to 2,500. Uh, 2,499, actually. And something that, a little thing that I just love when they do is when they foil stamp the numbers in the same color of the parallel of the card. This is a red parallel, so obviously, and they stamp it in red. I just think that's really cool. A uh, Gridiron King from Eli. This one was numbered to 250. Uh, again, I apologize for the light. It's not the best light here. And some uh, 08 Golds. Steve Smith. Of course, these are numbered to 2008. This is 1976. Good year. Shockey Gold. Number 739 out of 28, 2008. Uh, here's a Hakeem Nix rookie card. Don Russ Classics. Number to 999. Yeah, you can see the number there. Nice looking card. He's turned out to be a real nice player for the Giants. Boomer. Boomer Esiason with the Jets from a 2010 Classics. Uh, I've become a very, very big fan of Boomer Esiason's. Uh, in the morning, him and, uh, he does a radio show here in New York in the mornings. Great sports talk show with Craig Carton uh, on WFAN. Uh, fantastic job. Uh, I liked him when he came as a quarterback. He is a local guy. He's from out on Long Island, not far from where I grew up. And his charity endeavors just always impressed me. So it's nice to get a card. And I don't have too many of his insert type cards. Uh, nice Mark Sanchez he threw in there. And the big card I, I was really looking forward to is this Brad Smith auto card. 
Uh, number to 899, this is 761 out of 899. It's on that little helmet they embed into the card. It's quite thick, as you can see. Great looking card. Brad Smith's one of these players that's really a big contributor to the team. Does all the little things, returns, kicks, and whatnot, and just become a big fan of his over the last couple years. Great trade, Dave. Uh, always fun. Um, really looking forward to doing it again. Uh, I got to reload on some Orioles and uh, and uh, Ravens and stuff, but uh, I always keep your mind when I come across some. And the last envelope I want to go over here is one I got from Adam over at my cardboard mistress. Uh, another great trader. Oh, everybody out there is great traders. So we I've had so many great trades out there, but here's another one. Uh, Adam and I met uh, online a while back when he started his blog, and uh, we hooked up right away. He's Grew up with guys like David Wright and, and the Uptons and all that, so uh, we had some common collecting ground, uh, and he always sends me good cards, so it never fails. I sent him a, a bunch of stuff. If you haven't got it yet, it's in the box you should be receiving very shortly, Adam. Uh, I don't recall if, uh, I think yours was in the last batch. You should have it by tomorrow. Uh, starting off, one of the first cards I emailed him about was a post he did on the Bowman Platinum, and uh, here's a gold refractor from Johan. Uh, this was number 539, odd number for them to choose, but that's what it's numbered to. And then, you know, as usual, the floodgates open, and I got cards, you got cards. So we got a cut from the same cloth with Beltran and Reyes, seven, number 799. A uh, Johan Santana X Fractor from 2009 Tops. The O9 X Fractors are cool, they kind of have like these boxes that form in them. A 2003 Tops Prospects. It's not a rookie card, but it's close for Reyes and uh, Heilman on there with him. Very cool, and it's in great shape. This is an original back from the, I guess you called your mama throughout. Or is it, uh, yeah, I think it's your mama throughout. Original back, Tom Stever. Always great to get one of those. Fonzie, one of my great uh, favorite Met players from that era. A very cool John Olrood medal. Uh, Metal Universe, I love the background with the city, Central Park, and all that, and I love John Allwood as a player, so that's a big-time card, I love it. A gold, Bowman Gold rookie card from Nick Evans. Bobby Parnell, a piece of history, retail parallel, it's not numbered, but it's a different color, so that's a parallel. Rookie card, very well. A Mr. Met uh, tattoo from the opening day set in 08, very cool, got a f five or six Mr. Met cards now. And on the Yankee side, he hooked me up with a... Uh, a Alfredo Aceves, number two, 150 parallel from a piece of history. And Magic Numbers, Phil Rizzuto. Always love getting the old timers cards. And this was a nice set, the uh, Upper Deck Yankee Legends. A Cano uh, Refractor. We look at the light. Hey, cool looking. It's got the bend, but not as bad as a lot of them. It's got a good one there. Oh, and he hit, he hit my flag collection. Did very well, too. This is a great shot of Julio Lugo with that flag in the background. Then you had the uh, retail parallel for the histor historical moments on the Star Spangled Banner. Here's the base for it. And to round it out, he threw the serial numbered to 299 blue version in. So that makes uh, three of them. Very nice. Great cards for the flag collection. A uh, couple footballs in there. Malcolm Jenkins from the Saints, Mini from the um, Magic set. And a great game used Leon Washington card. Big fan of his. I was just very disappointed when they let him get away. Uh, nice jersey card. And then just another bunch of uh, Topps Finest, some Yankees. Uh, Coney, Mariano. Knobloch, at some point I'll peel these and put them in the book. Nick Johnson, first go around. Oh yeah, Robin Ventura, Met card. A uh, Tops Town for, paid, uh, for Jorge. And then some more random Mets. Oliver Perez. I like these cards. Great shot of Shea Stadium. Too bad it's Oliver Perez, but it'll go in the book. Nice Tommy Glavin. Alfonso Soriano. Again. Uh, Joe Torre, Upper Deck 20th Anniversary. A-Rod for the A-Rod. That's a uh, Mariner card, so I'll go in the A-Rod collection. A nice Reggie one. Josh Tolley, Rookie card from New York. 
good shot of Yankee Stadium. When I worked up there, I drove down this road with my work truck many a times, except the stadium was on this side. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've been on that street a million times back in the day. Bobby Jones from the Tops Embossed. Wade Boggs from Pacific. And a Yoshi and an Iwarana. East Me Sweats. Uh, another great package from Adam over there. Check out his spot over at my cardboard mistress. Always a uh, very fun, interesting stuff going on over there. Uh, quick announcement. I'll also have it written up with links. Uh, cardboard Quarry. Uh, Johnny Robbins over there is uh, doing his first group break. Jump on in. Very reasonably priced. Some great stuff. Some old, uh, I think it's 03 Bowman. I forget. But uh, some good stuff. Jump on in. The more, more people in, the more cards we get. That's how it works. Seems to be what everybody's doing these days, which is a great idea. Uh, the more slots that get filled, the more money. It means more cards for everybody. So head on over and jump on in. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon.